Just arrived at the cereals vent. Very nicely to be chauffeur driven. Thank you, Martin. Here we go. All is rangy. The usual cues, but not bad at all looking in front. Soon be in. The only time you ever see this is with that little Amazon, uh, oh, sorry, Amazon drag on the back. It needs to have a, a big plough on the back or even a power harrow or a subsoil or something just to really test it. And this is the wheeled version. It'll know where all the parameters in it, it'll have all the boundaries to put in it. Been helping them get the transfer on. Been a bit of a job because this doesn't, it's a bit damp, but we're getting there. There, good job done. I'll know the whole thing. But if anybody wants a vehicle wrapping, <laughs> don't call us. There's one of the temperature probes that's knackered. So there, we're just taking the cover off with the water, and that's what's underneath. <laughs> I think he's alright for a trifle. <laughs> so, taste test. You heard wrong. Come on. Come on. If you've given that at a restaurant, I think you might say I'd like a bit more butter, please. <laughs> a bit fantastic what they've done. Looks like an intero cultivator. Look at what we need for our sugar beet. So the idea is that your row of crops will go through there and then you can move the tines in or out a little bit to alter the amount of rows that it cultivates. And then those are at the back there, those finger tines, just to finish the job off and pull the weeds out. Got some power harrows here. That's a huge first of spreader. And sprayer as well. Don't know how many thousands of litres that is. All the latest technology on the boom, sensing for level. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> nice comment, Mr. Ward, you look taller on telly. Yeah, I know, a lot of people say that. Good things come in small packages, though. Huge planter drill. A lot of trash flow through there. So that will go in really weedy conditions. A lot of stagger on those. So at the Sears stand, or however you pronounce it now, that's their grain pusher, huge pusher. Brilliant now for pushing up the grain. And there's shorter ones as well. You can see you just have sections in. You can see up there where it's just plus two. You know, I'll take that out, add bits in to get whatever length you want. Good looking mole plough there. So those of you wondering what a mole is when I keep talking about mole draining, this is what we're going to be doing with ours. We've got two legs. And we've put, you can alter the depth of the leg to go through the gravel above the drains. You go across the drains at right angle, but I'll explain more about that another day. And then this is the big bag lifter that we're, we're looking at. You either got a hydraulic one, you can alter the width of these two supports that hold the bags, or you can have a fixed one. So I'll have to see if we can do a deal here. We've got a bit of a meet and greet going on here. Why was he born so beautiful, could have demanded. So we just had a, a farming who's who YouTube. Oh yeah. We're all here. Tom? <laughs> and a plus one. We've got Abby. Is he here? And Maddie has got all our autographs. And there's mine. And she even wanted Nala. Look at that. That's lovely. You like watching them? Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. 
So, still at the series stand and the original articulated tractor, Ford FW30. They did an FW60, I think. That is about 295 horsepower, I understand. Ford TW25. We had a TW35, which was 185 horsepower. And I, I drove that, I remember, years ago. Good old days of farming. And then, fast track, so an 04 plate, 3170. So, 170 horsepower. Oh, it's George's, George Saunders, that one. Well, I think it was all live, actually. Come inside to shelter from the rain. Yes, it's raining. Just got to the direct driller marquee where they're doing some sort of seminars. This one was talking about regen ag, I think, and uh, things like that. Which um, I'll touch on this sort of thing a bit. In a, a bit later there's some interrow weeders here this is what we're talking about with tractor hose you can see there the sugar beet row will go between there and then the tines hoe between the rows and they uh, hoe the weeds out and aerate the soil We've got other weeders here that go through crops you can see there are lots of tines through there and the idea is the weeds roots are shallower than crop roots so that's why it will pull them out direct drill alley here with Clayton and that horizon here these horizons are made in Lincolnshire just been in the NFU stand just had a sit down and coffee and a biscuit but struggling to find food because it's so too late just now heading up to Housen stand I've got the what they got a meet and greet at 2.30. Got some robots working behind me. Someone just said that one was a, an upgrade from my robot mower. So anyway, you see it up here, up the hill here. And uh, looking at a bit difficult walking because it's really slippery and greasy because of the rain we've just had. So these are the wildflowers that they always have around the outside the sprays and sprays arena. So I've got to try and find houses now. They are somewhere. There we are. Just spot them under that boom there. Perfect. There's a Schaefer going around at the minute. We'll try and get in the middle of work and see if they're running. This is copper barley drilled that the sprayers run through. This is the next spray to go in, but look of it, this is a tune. And they tell me they offer hard perfect and contract hard as well. Normally along the outside of the sprays and sprayers arena they always have sprayer manufacturers of parts pumps nozzles and things like that this is the omex sun where we get all our fertilizer from this is lincolnshire company very interesting visual here just showing the different nozzles that you can apply liquid fertilizer with so you've got some leckler nozzles like that and of course, when you apply liquid fertiliser, you don't need a fine spray like you do for chemicals. And if, in fact, if you have a fine spray, it will scorch the crop. So you can see what they're putting out. You've got putting it out like an umbrella. High pro nozzle there. So we've got T jet there. I'll go through the wall like that. T jet there. High pro there, putting it on like that stream bar or the dribble bar as it's called this is what we use you recognize that you can see that's putting a nice big coarse droplet on very even and we've got another hardy small and droplet nozzle there and then Bateman also do a type of nozzle similar to the Omex one and there's another umbrella nozzle so here's all the different nozzles that put in the liquid fertilizer I'm really interested when you see what that uh, what that can do Anyway, hello, all right. So, this is Housens. is key to safety at all times. So, you And that is the new grey colour. our sprayer. Standard on all of the team sprayer red.
variable booms are available for the coon mattress. And both of these could be either triple right, or double Right, let's go to have a word with a few people. We are here on the housing stand and these lovely people have just come up and Elsie's come up. What was on your quiz, Elsie? What did you have to do? You've got a quiz here, Lord. What was that say? Had to find Not Andrew Ward. Ward. That's right, you do and you found me. <laughs> have you got to find Ollie Harrison, Ollie Bloggs on the list? Is he on there? No, I know that's right. You, that's good one, thank you. John Deere just come out the arena from doing its little demo. This is a new design bottle of it. Looks like there might be another bit of rain soon. Just about to leave Housens. Thank you to everybody who's come up and said hello and had a chat this afternoon. I just had to show you this. This is one of the sprayers we had, which was probably two sprayers ago. Bombproof these these are were. I think they were the first sprayer to have airbags for suspension. This one's 21 years old. It's been sold. somebody in Warwickshire with the look of it. Don't know whether they can... Oh, it is open. Let's have a look. Let's go in here and just have a look. Yeah, brings back memories, this does. That's the view from the back. Great little sprayers. So this is the coon stand. Really impressive drill that. Cultivator drill. Discs at the front as well for cultivating. You can see there. Eight meters wide. Consolidating wheels at the back. It's always very well made. That's the Coon Striger that we had on our demo for Sugar Beet Strip Tilling. And then this is, I think they call this the Pro Lander, yes, they do. It's like a big drag. So it goes straight onto stubbles by the look of that. Right, we'll go to the John Deere stand now. So, from Coon to John Deere. <laughs> so they do two tracked eight series. You've got the 8RT that is a fixed track. And then you... Like, let's get down. It's, you can see there, one fixed track, so it's like skid steer to get it round. Whereas you've got the 8RX, what we've got is the front tracks turn, the separate to the rear tracks. Great tractor, really good, love it. looking at the amount of insects that these flowers have on. Look at the bees. Another one in the middle. Where is it? In there, look in there. Just full. Skylark singing above. And then lastly today, the sumo stand quiet now, everybody's going uh, going home. This what's this? This is a tined 
cultivator thing similar to a well not similar but does a solo type effect to it cultivates a disc at the front loosening legs uh, big a shares on there though i would have to, oh they've got they've got the knock-on points i think looking at that down there where the points knock on and then your leveling bars at the back and then your big packer roller at the very back just walking back past the series stand very interesting how they support this they've got a wheel with a big tube supporting it so it sits on top of it for safety so that's the end of day one of cereals hope you've enjoyed it thanks very much for watching a bit of a look at what's going on and around the show site just going to call in here at amazon because simon brown is retiring for amazon and done a lot with simon over the years with the trials we've done with agri so just going to go in and have a have a drink and something to it with him and everybody else that's here and uh, so i hope you enjoy this look at am um, uh, sorry at, uh, at cereals and we'll be back tomorrow for day two just left the amazon sand because they've just started up this fw30 <laughs> yeah, we do. Jump in there. Brilliant, thanks guys. All right. Thank you. Here we go. Look at that. Which is, where's the throttle? There you go. There, there we go. Thought they all, there's high and low in the gears. This was how the quad tracks first started years ago. Brilliant looking at one of these. Right, back to Amazon, get some more pizza and finish my beer. Let's see if they've got any. Ooh, yeah, a little bit left. Look at that, there we go. Fantastic. Right, I really am going now. Fantastic pizza, thank you Amazon. Fantastic hospitality here and uh, nice to see Simon here is retiring and uh, done a lot for the industry over the years for many farmers so thanks Simon and thanks Amazon and we'll see all of you tomorrow